It all starts from a belief that people have the right to health. Health is not a privilege. It shouldn't have to be earned, and it shouldn't be something that can be denied or taken away. When Where There Is No Doctor first appeared, it tried to answer the question, don't people in remote communities, people without resources, people without access to medical care and medical facilities, don't they also have the right to health? Hesperian has been working with people at a grassroots level to solve that problem ever since. The term primary health care comes from this concept that you don't just uh, take care of health by building a hospital or a tertiary care center. The idea and the concept really is about taking health to people, taking health to the people, and that means involving community members directly in the care of health. One of the central elements uh, and logics of primary health care, and certainly part of the concept of where there is no doctor, is not that it is where there is no health system. Rather, it really is about how communities can do a lot of the self-care that they need in a way that makes good use of hospitals and good use of uh, medical infrastructure. The first time I learned about Spanian was with the book uh, Where There's No Doctor. And I remember during the war we used a lot of this, this book because uh, the place where I come from we didn't have any doctor and we just go to the book and uh, try to solve problems related to the health. Where There Is No Doctor was first released in Spanish in 1973 and from there it went into English and Bangla and it went there and was spread by people picking it up and saying, my gosh, I need to make this available in my language and that's the way that it really is now in 80 languages. Long time ago I was a vascular surgeon. Now I'm more a community health activist. I work for an organization called Konushasta Kendra, which means People's Health Center, promoting affordable national health care to the rural people of Bangladesh. Book like where there is no doctor. That is, I think, really the world's first demystification of health care. In 73, when we saw the book, we said, God, this is what we are looking for. So I first met Where There Is No Doctor when a copy was given to me as I was heading to um, work in a refugee camp for Salvadoran refugees that had just crossed the border into Honduras in the early 1980s. To say that it transformed my life would be an understatement. I was a Peace Corps volunteer and I was working and living in Ghana, West Africa and using Where There Is No Doctor pretty much every day for my work and my own personal health. And my friends and family. I think that Where There's a Doctor is still an incredibly relevant book in the world because of its the particular model in which it was written, this Hesperian model of validating people's experience and being really courageous in, in putting this really difficult to understand information written simply in the hands of people who need it. So removing ourselves from our paradigms that, that only experts can have this information and really digging as deep as we can to find the most useful, most relevant, most adaptable information that we can add. The, the, the book is all written in a very simple language. So that's why I think this is the book which really opens up every uh, everybody's mind. Even the medical professionals are more benefited with this book than the commoner. It's the idea of sharing information, recognizing people's intelligence. Um, I always like to say that in what I've learned over the years is that intelligence has nothing to do with a formal education. Yo creo que es un buen libro, muy buen libro porque creo que ha contribuido mucho en lugares donde no existen los servicios médicos, donde es, las comunidades muchas veces las más alejadas, donde los servicios médicos son escasos y este libro creo que ha contribuido mucho. Eh, eh, a mí personalmente ha sido un libro que ha ayudado mucho a mi familia, a mí mismo, 
porque de una manera sencilla orienta cómo debemos de cuidarnos nosotros mismos. None of the information that we put together means anything unless it's something that motivates and uh, engages and feels useful and changes how people in their communities are thinking about their situations or the health problems that they face or their own capabilities. My favorite thing about the work we do is how collaborative it is. It really guarantees that that the end result is going to be something that's useful and that people are going to use in their work and in their lives. So we began a process of more consciously uh, field testing the development of all of our books in many different contexts um, intentionally. As a result, uh, Where Women Have No Doctor was developed with the support of community groups and reviewers and advisors and people who field tested it in nearly 40 countries. And it drew from their wisdom, their experience, um, to make that book relevant and accessible in many different settings and cultures. This, the whole field testing process that we do really does form the backbone of our books, there's no question about it. They, you can have all the technical information you want, but if it doesn't make sense to people and they can't understand it and they can't put it to good use, and they're going to have their guide you on how to do that, that um, the books aren't going to be terribly useful. My name is Sajida and I'm a step and you work on this. हिम्मत करके अपनी आवाज नुलंद करके असरिया का साथ दे के अपना वक्त दे के where there's no doctor obviously was written from the community perspective. The idea is sort of a, a horizontal approach. So we at Hesperian connect directly with our partners. In fact, the way that we develop our resources is really coming from the communities that are going to use these materials or are using some of our materials in a variety of ways to fit the needs that they have. And so with them, in a constant conversation, we're developing the resources. Vamos resolver os problemas muito básicos, muito mais baratos, com tecnologias muito simples e darmos acesso, darmos vida às pessoas, porque o que precisam as pessoas é vida para poderem trabalhar, vida para poderem terem acesso de água e saneamento, para poderem ir na escola, as crianças terem um sorriso, poderem trabalhar, estudar, porque sem isso não é possível. So many more thousand editions of this book need to be printed, published, distributed in coming years. I'm really excited to be working on the 21st century edition of Where There's No Doctor and making sure that as we work on the new edition we incorporate all the issues that the world's poor now face and make sure that we develop a new edition of Where There's No Doctor that's going to help people and save lives and create healthier communities around the world for another 40 years. We want to be able to accompany and empower community health workers as they extend increasingly scarce medical resources to everybody who needs them. We want to be there with them and we want to be part of Health for All in the next 40 years.